Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be using Secret Soft in the color red and it is a medium weight for yarn and uh, I'll be using an F hook and a pair of scissors. So let's get go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make our slip knot, or you can do a magic ring if you like, if you prefer that method. But I'm going to go ahead and chain out four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch by the knot. Slip stitch. And from there, you kind of got a, there's a bar in the way, so make sure you find the middle space there, which is right there. There's like a little piece of yarn there in the way. But from here, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to make seven single crochets around this row, around the circle. So insert your hook into the middle of this, the circle and then single crochet. Two, three, four, and I'm just crocheting over my tail as I go. Five, six, and seven. So just make sure you have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what we're gonna do is slip stitch into that first chain of the row. So insert your hook into that first single crochet and then slip stitch. And that's what it looks like so far. From here, what we're going to do is chain one, and now we're going to put two single crochets in every single crochet in the row below. So we should have 14 single crochets in this row. So go ahead and insert your hook into that very first available stitch and put two single crochets there. One and two. And we're going to do that for every chain space, putting two single crochets in every chain space. And it can get a little bit confusing, so what you want to do is just count these and make sure you have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So once you have 14, go ahead and slip stitch into that very first stitch, very first single crochet of the row. And from here, what we're going to do is chain one. And then we're going to put one single crochet in that very first stitch that we slip stitched into. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And single crochet into the very next stitch. Like that. Then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So chain three and then single crochet into that very next stitch. Chain three and single crochet into the next stitch. So you should have 14 little loops 
by the time you're done with this row. Two, three. And really, um, any flower will work with this, almost any flower will work with this pattern. So if you prefer like a different flower, you can totally do that. Um, just find another flower pattern to use. And let me make sure I have how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So thirteen and fourteen. So when you get to your last one, go ahead and just slip stitch into that first single crochet of the row. So now we have our 14 little loops here, and now we're going to start on the petals. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our hook into that very next, that very first loop available. Insert your hook and slip stitch so that now we're in that loop. And from here we're going to chain four, three, four. And then we're going to do double treble crochets. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. But we're not gonna finish this double treble. We're gonna leave the last two loops on the hook, okay? So then yarn over twice, and we're going to do another incomplete double treble crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we have four. Yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now we have five, yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and now we have six, yarn over twice, insert your hook, Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this first one does count as a um, double treble as well. So we have, including this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven incomplete double treble crochets. And from here, what we're going to do is yarn over and pull through the first loop. And then from here, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, 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 pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. So that's kind of like a... Tunisian crochet method there and I learned this from this really cool YouTube channel I'm gonna put into the description box so you can check out her channel because I learned these petals from her but I kind of changed her flower a little bit so I just wanted to give credit to her um, anyway from here what we're gonna do is when you pull these open there's a little space in between 
the stitches and we're gonna be going into that space, okay? So we're not going into the very first one, but we're gonna go into the second one. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, and single crochet. And then insert your hook into the next one, pull up a loop, and single crochet. Insert your hook into the next space, pull up a loop, single crochet, and from here, what we're gonna do is chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. So just pick up the bar there and then slip stitch. So we kind of just picoed. And then we're gonna put one more single crochet into that very same space. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, and single crochet like that. And then we're going to put two more single crochets, one in each little space that's remaining. One and two, like that. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. From here we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and then, and then go ahead and slip stitch into this um, chain space where we put all of our double treble crochets. So we're just going to slip stitch into that space. And that is our first petal. Okay, so let's do the next petal together. There will be 14 petals here. So we're going to insert our hook into the next loop and slip stitch. Okay. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to start our incomplete double treble crochets. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that same loop there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that until we have seven loops left on our hook. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, that's four. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, five, pull through two, that's six, and seven. So now that we have seven loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over and pull through the first loop only. Yarn over, pull through two loops. 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 Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. Now we're back at the beginning. And we're going to use this little space here between the double trebles, but we're skipping the first one where the chain is. So insert your hook and do a single crochet after you skip one. So in the second one. Now in the third, we're going to put one single crochet. In the fourth space there, we're going to put a single crochet and then chain three for our pico and then go ahead and slip stitch into that single crochet there. And then one more single crochet in the same space. And then two more single crochets, one in each space that's remaining. And then we're going to chain four. And slip stitch into this same 
loop that we were working in. So let's do one more together. Now I will say that this, these petals will get pretty full and you don't want to skip any of the loops. You want all 14 if you want the flower to kind of bunch like that. Um, if you don't like this flower, you can use another flower and skip ahead to um, the bikini part. But let's go ahead and do one more uh, petal together. So insert your hook into the next loop and slip stitch. And then we're going to start by chaining four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to do six incomplete double treble crochets. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that same chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that until we have seven loops on our hook. That's five, this is six. And one more. And that's seven. So from here we're going to yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through two, 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 and yarn over, pull through two. Then we're going to skip this first little opening space here and we're going to do a single crochet into the second one so single crochet and then single crochet into the next one and then single crochet into the next one and then chain three and then we're going to slip stitch kind of into that uh, single crochet there for a pico and then one more single crochet in the same space and then one more single crochet in each of the remaining chain spaces and from there chain four one two three four and slip stitch into that space where we did our stitches. So this is what it looks like so far. It gets pretty full, okay? So don't worry about it being that full. It's going to bunch up and come together to make that little <clears throat> full flower look that I was going for. So go ahead and repeat this in every loop and then you should have 14 petals here and then I'll meet you there and show you how to start on the bikini bottom. So I'm on my last petal and to finish the flower what you want to do, you can actually not slip stitch into this uh, loop and just kind of move that slip stitch over one so that it's a little bit more continuous. So I'm going to slip stitch kind of like at the base of the very first chain four. So go in there and slip stitch. And then chain one and cut and tie your work. Tie off, I mean. And so you can kind of see, I mean, it's very bunched up a lot because there's so many petals. So what I did with mine was I tried to kind of morph it how I wanted it. So let's just start with the very first petal. Just pick a petal and pull it to the front 
and then pull that next one to the back and then the next petal to the front and the next petal to the back and then the next petal to the front and the next petal to the back next to the front to the back and so just try to like pull every other petal one to the front one to the back until you get all the way back to the beginning okay so now I have kind of have like seven in the front and seven in the back kind of I mean you could play with it it's kind of uh, <laughs> it's kind of a lot of petals there but just play with it so that you have like kind of seven in the front and seven in the back there we go and that when I lay it flat I kind of pull those up and the other ones are in the back so that's kind of what the flower looks like but when it'll move around and stuff and bunch together but that's kind of what you want it to look like but go ahead and weave in your tails and then we'll start on the bikini bottom all right so after you make your flower and weave in the ends we're going to set this aside now if you are going to make the matching bikini top you might want to um, go ahead and make two of these or go ahead and make two of whatever flower thought you do want to use um, but for now let's go ahead and start on the back of the bikini bottom so what we're going to do is make a slip knot and we're going to make a foundation chain for the back so for an extra small you're going to do 33 chains a small is 35 chains a medium is 38 a large is 40 extra large is 43 2x is 45 and 3x is 47 chains so go ahead and make the amount of chains for your size and I'll meet you there and show you what's next. So after you make the amount of chains for your size, what we're going to do next is turn our flower on the back and you'll see there's a um, circle in the middle and that circle that middle circle we're going to go kind of around that to attach this to it so we're going to pick one side of the circle and find kind of like find a chain space just any chain space will do i'm just actually going to go into the circle here with my chain on my hook so go into that circle from one side and then we're going to pull up a loop so pull up that loop okay and then whoops and then yarn over and do a single crochet okay so after you do your first single crochet we're going to go straight across this flower and pick kind of like another stitch that's across it like that so I have one single crochet here one single crochet here and I'm going directly across that and then I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop and then single crochet one more time. So now we have two single crochets with this string coming down. Okay. From there what we're going to do is kind of turn our work around. So now that the string is on the side that you're going to crochet in. So go ahead and 
chain one as a turning chain and then we're going to go back down these stitches with slip stitches so you can skip this first single crochet that or that last single crochet we did and slip stitch into the next one And then we're going to single crochet, um, not single crochet, we're going to slip stitch down the rest of this chain here. So go ahead and insert your hook into every chain space and do a slip stitch. Whoops. So it's like this is the string part in the back and we're going to move our way back up towards the front of the bikini. So go ahead and slip stitch all the way down this chain. Slip stitch all the way down this chain until you reach the end and I'll show you what's next. Alright, so I've slip, slip stitched all the way down and I have one chain left so I'll go ahead and slip stitch into that last chain space here. Like that. And then I'm going to chain one in the same space that we just slip stitched in. I'm going to put um, two half double crochets there. So yarn over and insert your hook back into that same space, pull up a loop, and now you have three loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through all three, and then yarn over, reinsert your hook into that same space, it might open up a little bit, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Go ahead and close that back up so it's kind of looking a little bit better. Okay, and then from here what we're going to do is chain one and turn our work. And for all the sizes this step is the same. So. From here what we're going to do is yarn over and we're going to do that again and put one half double crochet in each of these half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first half double crochet below, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. And then we're going to put one more into this last half double crochet from below. Pull up a loop and pull through all three. Okay, this is going to open until we get to, yeah this is going to keep opening up so don't worry about it. Once we weave it in it'll be fine. Um, again, so this is the same for all the sizes. The next row we're going to chain one and turn our work. And in this row, we're going to do our first increase. So what you want to do is yarn over and put a half double crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to put one more into the same stitch. So now we have two in the first stitch. And then we're going to put two in the second stitch. And so everyone should have four half double crochets in this row. From here we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to do three more rows of four half double crochets. So there's no increase here. 
So just go ahead and do three rows of one half double crochet in every stitch. So after you do your first row, After you do your fir first row of that, chain one and turn your work. Now we have two more rows left of that. Chain one and turn your work. And one more row of that. what it looks like so far. So from here what we're going to do is chain one and turn our work. And then in this row we're going to do another increase. So yarn over and do one double crochet in the first chain space. And go ahead and put one more in that same chain space. And then we'll put two half double crochets in the two middle chains, chain spaces, <clears throat> and then we'll put two in the very last for another increase. So this row should have six half double crochets. So we'll just put two here in this last chain space. Okay, from here what we're going to do is chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to do one row of just six half double crochets. So one half double crochet straight across in every stitch. Sorry, my yarn keeps getting caught. <laughs> Five and six. And from here, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Turn it this way. And we're going to do another increase. So we're going to put two in the first stitch and two in the last stitch. And we'll have eight half double crochets in this row. Two. And then in the last stitch, we'll put two half double crochets. And chain one and turn your work. And in this row, we're just going to do eight half double crochets straight across, one in every chain space. So from here, this pattern kind of repeats. We're going to do one row of increases and one row straight across. All right. And so here's the variance in the sizes. 
You're going to continue this pattern until your row has the amount of half double crochets for your size. So let's see, um, an extra small is going to continue until they have uh, 22 half double crochets in their row. Size small is going to continue until they have 24. A medium is going to go until you have 26. A large until 28. An extra large is 30. A 2x is 32. And a 3x is 34. So go ahead and continue this pattern until you reach the amount of half double crochets needed for your size and I'll meet you there and show you what's next. Okay so once you've reached the row for your size go ahead and chain one and oop, chain one and turn your work and we're gonna do one more row without increases of that same number so I'm making here a size small and I did my increases and I have 24 here, but I'm gonna do one more row straight, up, straight across of 24 half double crochets without increases. So go ahead and do that last row there. And what you want, what you want this to do is when you lay this flat, just for fitting purposes. Now those were my recommendations for the sizes, but what you wanna make sure of is that this corner comes behind your lady part. So if it does not, then you can continue this pattern a couple more times until this actually covers your lady part and then you want this to kind of start after your lady part. So you can measure yourself and measure, you know, everybody is different. You can measure yourself or you can actually try this on if it's for you and just make sure that that covers you, okay? So go ahead and finish your last row or add rows if you need to add rows in the front. And I will show you how to do the ties next. Okay, so after you complete the amount of rows that you need for your size and you're satisfied with the length of it, go ahead and uh, we're going to make our first chain from where, we're, where we left off. So for size extra small and small, you're going to make 75 chains. For size medium, you're going to make size medium and large you're going to make 85 chains for extra large you're going to make 95 chains for 2x make 100 and 3x uh, go ahead and make 110 so go ahead and finish this first tie and then I'll show you what's after that so once your chain is long enough for your size, we're just going to um, cut and tie off on that first chain. Okay, and then we're going to start on our second chain. So let's take our working yarn and tie a double knot into that cornermost chain space. So pick up that cornermost chain space and go ahead and pull through and just tie a double knot. Or some people like attaching with a slip stitch and that's fine too, however you like to do that. And we're just going to go ahead and make the same amount of chains. So pull up a loop. We're gonna make the same amount of chains that we made on the first side. So go ahead and complete this step and then I'll show you how to do the string in the back. All right, so I have my two ties completed in the front. 
And now we're going to start on the back, um, the back ties. And it's pretty simple too. So what we're going to do is start off by making a, another slip knot. And the amount of chains is different from the amount that you did in the front. So let's see. Extra small and small are going to do 88 chains. Um, medium and large are going to do 100 chains. Um, extra large will do 110, 2x will do 115, and 3x will do 130 chains. So go ahead and just make out that chain first for your size, and then I'll meet you back and show you what to do after that. Okay, so once you make your chain long enough for your size, we're going to find the back of this flower again. So go ahead and turn it over to the backhand side. And it's going to be similar to what we did before. Um, we're going to do two single crochets back here like we did before. Now it doesn't have to be super perfect, but if you're selling this, you're just going to try to make it be as neat as possible. Um, but really it's, it's pretty simple. So I'm just going to pick up like, I'm going to try to find the middle here where we, yep, we covered up the middle there. So I'm just going to try to find like a middle stitch on one side to try to go in and you kind of want to make it be perpendicular to the way that this one was on there. So you want it going like straight across like a T or a cross. So try to pick up a stitch that's kind of perpendicular. I don't like that one like that okay this one that's kind of close to it and then we're going to pull up a loop so just pull up a loop as best you can and then single crochet. There we go. And then we're going to try to pick up a loop on the opposite side of this. It's kind of hard to see, but you don't have to stress too hard about this part. You just kind of go for it and do it. Um, it's on the inside, so. But find a stitch across from that and pull up a loop and then single crochet. And you kind of want to try to make this single crochet a little bit tight, so pull it tight. And then from there, so you'll do two single crochets in the back and then you're going to go ahead and chain out the same amount that you chained on the first side. So now we're kind of on the other side and we're just literally finishing the other side of the chain. And the only reason why I did that is because if I just slide this through, it won't really be anchored and this flower can kind of slide around. I wanted it anchored on there so that it wouldn't really move as you wore it. So go ahead and chain this out and I'll meet you at the end and show you what's after that. All right, so once you've chained out enough for your size, go ahead and cut and tie off. And all we have left to do is weave in these two strings here. But I did, what I did do was I do when I do these little ties that aren't doubled and they have this little end on it sometimes I'll take them and hold them together kind of 
I'm gonna hold all four of them together from the little last knot there that we cut and tied off on. So I hold them together with the knots kind of lined up and then I find the shortest one and kind of just cut like that. So they're kind of even. Another thing you can do and what I did with my last one was I, um, I kind of opened this up so that they're kind of um, not spun together. That's what I did with my last one anyway. Um, I kind of just opened these strings up and untwisted them so that they could kind of be like that. I mean, you, you really don't have to do that. I know some people like to actually put a tassel here too. And that's cute too. Another tip that I can give you is this one, this string is, uh, you don't want this one coming out and it can easily just pull out, right? So what we wanna do is anchor this one. So you wanna make sure your flower's not twisted so you know which, which side is the inside. And it looks like this is like that. So you want this string to be flat so that you know that this is the inside of your garment. We're going to want to anchor this, this tail so that it doesn't um, open up. And that would be very unfortunate for everybody, <laughs> especially if you had it on. So you want to, when you weave this one through, you're going to want to anchor it a little bit. So instead of just weaving in this in regular, you're going to want to do a couple of knots here. So I'm going to pull up a loop and then pull this through the knot like that. And I'm going to do that a couple of times and I'm going to pull it tight close to that so that knot's really tight. And I'm going to weave a couple of times, like once maybe, and then I'm going to make another knot. And make sure after you do that a couple of times, you don't want to cut it here. You want to just keep weaving after you, um, you want to keep weaving it through a couple of times after your last knot. So I did, looks like I did like maybe three knots and then go ahead and weave it some more before you cut that off because if you just cut it like right by the knot that knot, knot is probably going to come out so you want to weave it a couple more times just to um, ensure it's secure I might do like one more like that and I think that's probably good. So now I'm gonna cut it off. Also make sure when you weave in your second string to also weave that in through on the inside of the garment as well. You always want to weave your ends in um, on the inside of your garment so that it's not very noticeable thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video where we do the bikini top bye